Hello and welcome to this newest video of mine, the 1st of 2021. This is an uh, update to MP Data uh, Plus, it's a version 2. I'll just load it in. It loads in the normal way my program, so I'm going to switch flash screen. Stores on the icon bar there, so click on that. Brings up the main window. Got the main window here. One reason I've done click rewrite is because the uh, code got a bit messy. But if you want to already into it, this is a post code for Riscos Vermin, so the, uh, the orders of the uh, operating system. Let's return. Press the wrong button. Return. It loads in. First thing always comes in is a picture for some reason. Does take a while to load in. Um, so the reason I've done this to version two is Yoko got a bit unwieldy. I think this is one of my first WGET applications. So I learned a lot from them and so I've improved the code. Unfortunately with WGET it does go a bit single tasking while it's waiting to load the rest of the data in. And the data comes from various sources. You've got they work for you. Is the, is the main one which brings in all, all the information and debates. The petition one comes from uh, Parliament's own one, which is the most popular petitions in the constituency. As you see now, all the information is loaded. You can see this bottom right space is the main, and quite self explanatory. You've got the buttons along here which open up new windows. To new information about debates. Before on the previous version, it only had four, now it's up to the last ten. Obviously, if, if it's a new member of parliament, they might not have a chance to speak yet. So, and now on this, the scroll wheel works. So, if you click on one of these at random, it opens up to the They Work for You page with more details about it. Close that one down. Upcoming elections. These are details in the upcoming elections where you can. Get more information about it. That will take you to where it comes from, who I can vote for the website, and gives a list of the candidates for the various elections we've got there. That way, you can download the ICS file and save it to your computer. It's then load into a uh, cloud application, give you a mind of the day. Hopefully, near the time, that should give you the location of the uh, following information. MP on the web, that's self explanatory, I'm not going to keep any of it. For that and that's the petitions pretty much petitions in the constituency that takes you to the link to the website so if you look if you want to you can sign the petition really up to you these ones down here is gives more information about the MP so again we're mostly the face talking they work for you this one allows you to write to your MP so you can go down there and send a message to them and the details, it's really quite explanatory and the site doing it. This takes you to their maiden speech. It's the first time that they had interactions in Parliament, or whatever that is. Then you get you their voting right, vote record, and, and how to also attend different things. This goes, takes you, this way you can get email updates, so every time the MP does something in Parliament, you get notified of it. This is a Wikipedia of the uh, entry of the consistency. This is similar to the right to the, them, but you, your other representatives. This is, you can put a problem in the area. This is a su subset of my uh, street fix application, so if it's a regular thing, you pretty much use that rather than this. And that's Proper, proper petition the constituency, which is the website of that one. There's more on it. Okay, thanks. This application requires WGET and a working internet connection to work. Also, if you like it, please, thank you. Uh, if you want to, you can collect your money through my Ko fi pages, link in the description, as well as my merchandise. If you want to buy some crap of mine, it'll be in the merchandise. Also, a link. So this will be in the description, why did this one be in the description as well? Thank you, and I'll see you what our next uh, update will be, whenever that's going to be. Okay, thanks, and goodbye.